welcome back to Operation Desolation. I am the Japanese player, and it is turn four. Uh, there has been quite uh, quite a worldwide uh, outcry of support for the KMT, I suppose. Uh, perhaps we weren't entirely ready for that, but we shall weather the storm nonetheless. Uh, the Japanese Empire is definitely the big bad guys right now, and yeah, we understand. We get it. We're not going to put too much blame on y'all. <laughs> but let's get to some rolling. So, last turn we finished up improved construction right there. Got it to stage 2, as far as we can get it for now. So, feeling pretty happy about that. But we'll try to complete uh, large ship construction to the last stage that we can right now. And, shucks, I don't know. I was debating between heavy armor, long range aircraft. Both are pretty good, and I always do like to see... Japanese tiger tanks show up. Those are pretty funny. Um, but I think long-range aircraft is just a little bit more necessary uh, for Japan. So we shall we shall try that. First up, long-range aircraft. Eight or better. An eight. Not too bad. So we'll grab a, we'll grab a Japanese flag right quick and put that right there with the Americans. And then next up, large ship construction. Hey, that's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Ah, Japan is uh, almost neck and neck with Germany. We're working on it. Um, cool. Very cool. I always like to start out that way. So now on to the purchases. All right, we're going to get one artillery and one infantry, one militia, two marines, and a tactical bomber. Those militia... I uh, wish I could get a few more of them, but not quite in the coffers this turn. So let's get on to attacks. As much as I would love to kamikaze the 41st into the 106th, I don't think I will be doing that this turn. Uh, so we shall we shall do other things indeed. We're going to do a real quick walk-on for that. That's pretty easy. We're going to do a real quick walk-on for this. Again, pretty easy there. And I won't be attacking this stack either. So MP7, you guys are you guys are safe for now, but oh boy, are they uh, are they danger close? Um, and then we are going to try to lift Hope off of the CCP as well. So here's how we're gonna try to our best to do that. Um, coming from this fleet are these three destroyers. They're going to go one, two, pick up some marines up here, and three, enter the sea zone. Uh, of course, they will take one of the marines from uh, the 41st and go with them the entire way, and then pick up the two marines that are uh, <clears throat> in Kyushu. So those, will, those guys will go there. Let's see, what do we want to happen next? One transport will go one, two, three, and drop off a cavalry and an infantry. Let's see, that's everybody off the main line. Now I gotta start pulling people from elsewhere. We're gonna go another transport. It's gonna get loaded up with two infantry coming off of the 41st, and there that transport is, dropping them off. <clears throat> Let's see, how, how are we looking here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 infantry plus a cavalry. Oh, that's pretty good. I do like that. That is pretty hefty indeed. Um, and so, since we're dropping off uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 guys, then we do get a bunch of bombards. And so what we'll do is, of course, the, uh, well, actually, no, the Air Force really can't make it into this fight. Some of it can. Uh, so let's let's math a little bit of this out real quick. So we got to leave the transports. There we go. Um, and they go one, two, so that's pretty easy. This fighter, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, sure, fighter will get it on that action. 
just in case things don't pan out too good for us. It'd be good to have uh, that guy there for that. And then we got our Air Force sitting here in Formosa. One, two, three. They actually can't make it. So they are lucky that my Air Force is wildly out of position for some missions that I wanted them to do. But that's all right. You live and you learn. Um, <laughs> we'll get that. As per usual, we'll get that cleaned up later. Um, so yeah, there's there's nothing there that I got to worry about, and now there's nothing up there that I got to worry about. So that's all right. Uh, yeah, might as well just bring the whole fleet up and over. So yeah, let's do some bombards then. Let's see what we got. So two battleships, a battle cruiser, and oh yeah, I've got seven bombarding ships for. <laughs> for seven dudes. Uh, how lucky. We'll just grab, uh, we'll just grab a couple of dice and uh, do that for all of them. Okay. So we'll go, we'll go bottom to top first. Uh, we're gonna do the heavy cruisers first, and I've got four of them here. One, two, three, four. So these are for a two or less. Oh, there's a hit. Super easy. So that's a first strike. It's out of there. And my guys waltz on in. And then this guy lands on the on the carrier. So super easy. <clears throat> now on to the rest of the fun. We're gonna bring the 18th air, go, let's see. Yeah, we'll we'll go one, two, uh, we'll go we'll go to Korea. Korea is still a pretty good place to have it. Uh, Korea is a really good place to have that. The fleet is there, of course. Uh, this guy is going to join the forty first. Doesn't have to use a transport because there's no uh, there's no narrow crossing there, no ships or nothing. Then this guy's going to come on over, join the the dudes in Rihi, get away from the Soviets who are trying to reinforce our border again, but we don't we don't want to have too much to deal with that, so we'll leave them be. And yeah, not feeling not feeling too bad about this. Might as well pull these back up in some fashion just to have them uh ready for ready for a fight. Because fighting we of course shall do sooner or later. Yeah, not too bad. Don't dislike this uh, this position uh, at all. In fact, uh, perhaps we'll no. Yes, <laughs> yes, we'll do it. Uh, the tactical bomber will join uh, just in case the the CCP get any get any crazy ideas. I would like to have some target select, even though it doesn't do quite as well on defense as it does on offense. But that's all right. Yeah, super easy. I'll try to get this cleaned up in a in a little bit right after the turn. Um, keep marching these coastal subs down. They'll make it. They'll make it someday. Um, and then let's do the real quick Siam roll, which I almost forget every single turn. Four. No good. That's all right. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Like that. Like that a lot. So, with that, we'll play some units. All right, the artillery is going into Rihi. It'll be good to have a first strike unit within range of fighting. Infantry, two Marines into Kyushu, tactical bomber into Kyushu. And the militia will join the 41st, so we'll just do that, of course. <laughs> Um, there. Just as a bit of a cheaper hit in case the KMT get any funny funny ideas over there. Uh, but yeah, pretty easy. All said and done. Let's let's check how much money I'm making these days. Hoo hoo, twenty eight. I like that. I like that a lot. So I've made some more attacks. America's lessening its oil for me. It's almost 
it's almost all used up, but I do get six dollars in bonus, so that's a total of seven to the twenty-eight. It does sound like uh, something like the tune to thirty-five dollars, if uh, if my math is correct. So thirty-five for Japan next turn. Uh, yeah. All right. I suppose that's it for me. I uh, don't need to hold you longer than than this. So I'll send you on over to Silk's channel. He's doing a he's doing a wonderful job over there with uh, with the French having a crazy time in Eritrea. Uh, always always fascinating to see what what he cooks up over there. So head on over to his channel for the cam. Or, sorry, <laughs> sorry, the Commonwealth and the French turn, and uh, I'll see you soon. Hopefully pretty quick. We're hamming these out really fast. So. Catch you in the next one. Later.